Hello everyone, welcome to Simon Tools again. Another day, another trouble with me today. Come back with our extra. The first day we do is uh, replace uh, radiator, dry belt, and air filter. Second day we done new front socks and two low arm, low control arms, and everything set ready to go and drive the car out the driveways and um, still haven't finished yet. Still have to recommend replace the uh, front tires because it's been three and you can see they go in and out one side. And uh, test drive yesterday. One horrible thing bring back to me is the oil leak. The oil were very bad leaking. And uh, you can see the wet on the floor there and even behind there. And later I will show you where normally this one leaking from and we find out what the problem and uh, we're gonna fix them for this car you have to check it up and put the stand underneath and uh, you will inspection here and uh, this is the only way for you to enter your hand in and do some work you can't go on the top because there's so many terrible stuff up there and you see how wet it is on the oil running down everywhere and uh, down here is the, see that's the oil pressure sensor there. I wish you can see because uh, I lay down and you will see all engine bay are really wet. And uh, yesterday when I start the engine, I can see that four bolt that holding that uh, square plate there. It's look like the uh, alien design. And uh, I don't know what that is. Maybe the, they got some water house there maybe the oil water cooling so i must say uh, maybe that one gone so what i do is uh we try to sneak on our hand on undo the top house two house and then take all the bolt here number 12 oops and bring this one outside and uh, we take it off and we inspection see what's wrong with this and we'll be all right okay otherwise uh very scary we have no room underneath we only can enter your hand from here and um, after we finish doing that we have to get the greaser spray all that and uh, all the oil here yesterday when I take drive and the smoke coming up and uh, I can smell oil and um, I really want to get him to get the car go but this time I won't let the car go because I can see oil would trip wet down here and it's very wet wet fresh oil so i wouldn't let him go try to grab myself long no place and uh, see if i can see if, if i can enter my hand in okay you can see the house there okay the hand too short to go in to uh, undo the clip for the uh, for the uh, oil the water line so what i do undo all this number 12 and we can pull it down a little bit and you can have more room and uh, undo the clips so do the lazy way first because I cannot do anything. Out, pop the bolts out, and now we can track it over here a little bit, or go down this way, and you can see your hand to undo the um, clip to take up the house, and you can bring it outside. And one more thing that uh, you notice when you start up the car when it's hot, normally they make their little red gun. Uh, sorry, little red noise. Is from there. Go this way, and then I can put my pliers and go on this angle, and I can take up the house easier. Then leave it up there, and uh, no space. Then no space for you to put the pliers in and to take up the clips for the house. So that's what I would do. After take up all the houses, so what we do is uh, using little bar, go along there and uh, hit and push behind the uh, house so it will come loose push behind the house give a push behind the house here and you can come up okay and make it easy for you without pushing they're very hard to come up and hard to get up the house <coughs> so that's what we need man so one i know it's hard that's a really no hand you know it's hard it's really no hand at all for 
So you just see because uh, I need the light as well. I need the light to post for myself. Not for the camera itself, but for myself as well. And I can't afford to buy a better torch, sorry. Because uh, all my torch is terrible. Very rarely using them and uh, only using once so many years. So that's why if something go underneath this. It torch. Come on, man. <coughs> it's loose. It's loose. <laughs> now we twist it again. need to go by the feeling of the hand Man. <clears throat> like the feeling I can't see but I do by my feeling so watch out for the water go every other way so the water in here is a lot as well it's like water cooling man so that's why I got out the car and I forgot my bucket of uh, water so right my fault so later I have to uh, pop up with more uh, green juice for him man okay one down another one to go and I am very super happy oh, okay my hardest job is done and uh, now it's just easy job is to pull it out okay we pull it out and uh, the all the story is leaking from here this is the one we only have to fix glass and uh, open up and check inside. Far out. What did I do? I break the bastard. Don't worry about the uh, oil presser. We're gonna get a new one. So uh, what we want to do is uh, open up and uh, try to fix this one for everyone who want to learn how to do it. I can do it yourself and uh, save money. It's on the, it's a old car. You don't want to spend too much money on the cars, you know? And uh, you want to know which way they go and which direction they go. Make sure you, uh, you see. Okay, so I would say the, uh, the oil coming out all around here because of this one, it's been flat, flat. See, that's why they have nothing pressed on here. So we uh, go and get a new oil seal put on and we should be all right. That's very easy. Okay, everyone can do it. Now what we do is clean this one, clean all this one and clean the one inside the car and uh, buy a new seal put on and we'll be bingo. Super easy because it's been uh, flat down because the breast of the oil they go in here, the pump coming out, it's very strong. So that's why that's why they uh, they circulate around here and this one to make it cool down. This one is like a um, condenser. So that's why to cool down the oil. And you can see our oil mark here, you see, and go out here. That's no good. So just put a new one on and uh, put on and you'll be right, last you forever. And blow out, look like brand new, like a virgin. And what we have to do is go and get some parts and uh, go underneath and clean the uh, oil underneath the engine and check for make sure there any, any other leak somewhere. Or uh, time for spray and clean the uh, bottom ends, make sure all the oil uh, go away and uh, hear the little red noise we talk about. Not make the mouse. See? See the crack? See the shaking? That make the noise from the when you start up the car, okay? That's very annoying sometimes. People don't like it. Okay, we uh, spray the greaser and uh, clean the oil. And try to see in there. See anything that uh, maybe some of the bolt from the car where the exhaust came up or somewhere. So if not, we just leave it because we, I cannot do nothing with that noise, okay? See the burn with the exhaust here? It goes straight in there and uh, see the go down here? The CV joist turning and hit the oil, go into the exhaust. You can smell it very badly. And um, make sure you put that torch on. Check if there any oil leak on the rocker cover too. 
because uh, just in case the oil rocker cover it leaked that's all but I would say only from there because you can see it's very super tripping okay brand new seal put on and we're gonna put it back how the way we get out that's how we get it in okay so um, we just hang around there and put this one on the house and uh, we get it out from there for the final checks like yesterday I will say about the sum up there so not leaking at all on the oil sums sorry on the oil uh, sorry rocker cover so all clean over there just oil leaking from here so now we got everything set up and ready to put them on so very easy a very hard way like uh, before still have to hold my hand there and I pull it down see I do that what the way it is and now I try to sneak my hand in with the pliers normally someone not showing you how to put them on because it's uh, maybe take them too long they don't show you but how I show you is from the hard way it's not that easy you know you can talk but action is different so everyone got a different way of showing how to do but uh, to be honest not easy at all for something that really need good sneaking hand in here and uh, you can't see especially cannot see nothing at all for sure we need two hands sometimes to feel the see I can't see I only can see the other one but this one I cannot see because uh, it's the frames the avoid ways here from the car chassis the car body here so very bad bad position Get on, and we, we have three short and one long long one on the top here and three the same size each one side so light the two one on first make sure the gaskets is on position on and uh, everything on go on the top fill up the water again with the green juice and uh, <coughs> the um, for you guys if you want to save the um, sensor next time so don't be lazy get number 24 and do the um, the sensor for the oil pressure sensor first and remove them out first and do it other way you do like me you will broke the the um, what I call the sensor again and it will cost you, you money so what I do is I ring up my suppliers and get the new one the new one they about uh, 40 50 dollars just for that little sensor that I've been broken here so for that little broken sensor see you need number 24 to go in and take it out see that one there see it's broken so I need a new one so now all you do is just tie them in evenly and uh, one more clean all around make sure no oil put the four bolt on and clean all especially oil around the exhaust here and you don't want any burn oil come out and then uh, we put water on and test it but now I still need to do is remove the uh, oil sensor so I can uh, get a new one Tom Bean I could not get the um, I could not get the um, genuine one I have to put up the market one as long as they are one wire and uh, we can hook them on one wire sensor they're all the same they work the same doesn't matter what brand it is as long as the leg can go in and you put them on and this one is maybe stronger and better than the original one so we bought them on all we do is just get the wire connection in there and it should work the same as the original one okay so this is this is aftermarket but there's one wire pin you're asking for and put them on and it should work same method again again and again and i wait for the oil water come on man no more railing because i can pick the railing for him too because the muffler too so it's all good so now all i do is just put my eye on the oil see the banana i've been see the square box there that's the most important you have to concentrate on and if it's not looking for a few more minutes and we are bingo okay see the uh, silicone i put in it just a firm lay 
If you can see silicon, we got some incomes. We got money, baby. So, so good. No trouble. Okay, check again before we put the wheel back on. So at least we don't see any oil coming out. That's the main key we want. That's the main key. So now, good to go, brother. Bingo. I'm happy. No more oil leaking from now. And this car will run very dry. No oil leak at all. So, I done a very good job up there. Give me five, please. Five out of ten. I'll be happy. Okay, put the wheel back on. Hey guys, thanks for watching Simon Tools and this is uh, oil leak. Most common happen to this car, Nissan x 2012, 2.5 engine, always leak and run the oil from there. So that's how you do it and how you take off and how you installation. So that's how Simon show you how to take it off. Sometimes you don't see people take it off the house and look easy, but uh, put your hand on and do it. Okay, see ya.